everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you all how to make a terrarium. My friend actually approached me and she wanted to make them so I asked her if it'd be cool if we film it together. These are awesome for Christmas gifts. They can go through harsh weather environment and require minimal maintenance. For this DIY, you're going to need cacti and succulents. I got these from a local vendor here in downtown Los Angeles. I'll put the link in the description where I got them. Make sure to get multiple sizes, so you want big and small. You're also going to need glass containers. You don't have to get too fancy here. I got some of my glass containers from Ikea. You can also get fancy ones like this, but you can also just use mason jars, anything that you like. You're also going to need moss or sticks, whatever you like to decorate with. E6000 glue or something with industrial strength. Activated charcoal, which helps with mold and keeping it fresh. Scissors, sand or pebbles. Cactus palm and citrus soil. Something to scoop the soil with. And something to grab the plants with. We're using chopsticks. First place the rocks, pebbles, or sand at the base of the jar. You want it to be at least an inch thick. This is gonna act as a drainage system for the roots. Now add a thin layer of your activated charcoal. Again, this will keep the water fresh and prevent any mold or bacteria from building up. Now add a layer of your soil. Once you have some soil inside, you're going to clear a space where your plant's roots can burrow into. Remove the largest plant from its pot and you're going to place that inside first. So you're gonna work from largest to smallest. If you're planting cacti, remember to wear gloves and do not handle it directly with your hands. Now begin placing in the smaller plants all around the larger succulent. You can even add moss for some color variation. Here we're using tongs to place this cacti inside. We're picking off a tiny piece of this cacti to give it some color. Now add in some pebbles on the top of the dirt. And if you like, you can add glue if this is going to be hanging so that the rocks don't move. Once you've added all of your pebbles, you're now done. So you can really make a wide variation of these. Here I'm trying to make one that has a gradient from dark colors to green. I found these really awesome little vials that you can put tiny little terrariums inside. I'll link out in the description where I got all of these glasses and jars. It's really up to you how creative you want to get with this. But make sure when you're working with plants, look out for bugs. Oh my god, there's a bug. Oh my god, oh my god, it's huge, it's huge. That shit just came out of nowhere. Ah, get him. Let it be free. I hope you guys enjoy this and try it out yourself. These make great Christmas gifts. They're super low maintenance and anyone will love it, especially when you tell them you made it yourself. So thank you all so much for watching. And thank you to Christina and Donald for helping me out with this DIY. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all later. Bye.